Sugar Creek on Harrisburg Road, Indian Lands Real Estate Hot Spots. I'm Roger Holloway with Prostead Realty. Wow, I've got some great news today and I'm going to show it to you on this map. So let me uh, make myself a little bit smaller here and move over here because this map, number one, clearly shows you the North Carolina, South Carolina border, which is coming right through here. And here, just as a Google map uh, locator, T Taylor Morrison uh, is showing right on Sugar Creek, they've got two developments. One's a hot spot known as uh, the Ridge. So Ridge at Sugar Creek is one. And really that, the Ridge is right over here on this side of Harrisburg Road. But that's really, that's not the estates at Sugar Creek. Sugar, the estates at Sugar Creek is right over here on the other side of Harrisburg Road. The ridge is right there. So again, another reason you need a great buyer agent with boots on the ground. Uh, wow, there's been some amazing movement of dirt and infrastructure right up and down Harrisburg Road. Now to put it in perspective, here's Barber, Barberville Road. I remember, I don't know, eight, 10 years ago. 10 years ago is when I got back into real estate here in the Charlotte market. I started sitting in a model home 20 years ago, 21, back in Indianapolis. Uh, 10 years ago, I got back into it, right about now, 10 years ago, started this YouTube channel and uh, have been plugging away at it ever since. Well, Barber Rock was right there on Barberville Road. A little history for you. That was where Bonterra Builders was building a great new development. But, you know, we all felt like, well, it's a little far out, but not really. Because if you take Barberville Road right up in here, you're right across the state line, you're in Ballantyne. And the other day when I was driving this, had Eaton right there where Johnston Road meets a, a Providence Road a West, and that's where the Publix is. That'll just show you how close you are in this Sugar Creek on Harrisburg Road uh, real estate hotspot known as Sugar Creek, baby. You're so close to Ballantyne. There's Ballantyne proper, 521 is right there. It connects right up here to 485, which, as you know, goes all the way around Charlotte, a little over 60 miles. And yes, there is, are some toll roads about ready to unveil here. At some point, you kind of just get used to it. So here we are. But here's what's cool. Carolina Place is right over here. That's the big mall, the enclosed mall that Simon Property Group is now seeing traction on again, the indoor mall. And here's Pineville which is a great small town. There's some bars and breweries, coffee shops right there. Check out Margo's for sure. And you can park kind of right behind Margo's, just walk up and down that road. And you should do that. You should make that a destination. But here on this North Carolina, South Carolina line, right across this line from Pineville, you kind of weave around back behind the uh, furniture row, which you will discover and you should discover uh, Bassett and others, Lee Lighting right along there. Uh, there's a BJ's right, you know, it's right over here. But you come down and you're coming down and you find Harrisburg Road. So this is what I'm talking about. Sugar Creek on Harrisburg. So let me dive right into Indian Land's real estate hotspot right down here. Again, on this side of Harrisburg Road, you're going to discover the estates. Now it says it right here at Taylor Morris. It's on the wrong side of the street. The estates at Sugar Creek, now you want to know where Sugar Creek is? There you go, right there. The estates at Sugar Creek, if, if you've been looking long enough to remember when Covington was selling Taylor Morrison, large lots, beautiful, large homes, uh, that was the estates at Covington. Now we got dirt moving, and I mean a lot of dirt moving. So these new a state size home, single family luxury in the Indian land hotspot known as Sugar Creek. That's going to be the estates at Sugar Creek. Yeah, you can drive it. But hey, as it you know begins to unfold, uh, my team with boots on the ground, and we have relationships with these on-site agents from Taylor Morrison. Trust me on that. When, when we call, they answer the phone. When you call, maybe not, because it's going to be so much activity, but they value the realtor relationship. So again, if you, I don't know what the pricing will be. My guess is it's going to be plus and minus a million dollars. Really large, luxury, lovely homes, lots of bedrooms, you know, 
two and three car garages. And so just connect with me. Let me get you in one of my buyer agents working with you now so that when we call that agent, uh, agents, that they answer the phone on your behalf. So call now and connect. Don't, don't reach out to Taylor Morrison. Never fill out an online form. Never fill out, never even call uh, the builder. You always want to have a buyer agent team working with you. And you do that now. Because if you fill out a form or call the on-site concierge, hi, Katie, uh, and they get you that way, we may not be able to help you. And here's why. It's the procuring cause. If we're the ones that bring you to them, they honor that relationship. So we need to be involved first at all of these Sugar Creek on Harrisburg Road uh, real estate hotspots. Trust me, Indian Lands real estate hotspots right here, south of Pineville, south of Carolina Place, down into South Carolina. I'm going to show you a little bit more on the map. But first, I want to expose you to the estates at Sugar Creek. That's the luxury single family homes. Now, across the street, here there's a marker right here. That's where, not the estates, that's mismatched, mismarked. My boots were on the ground. That is going to be Ridge at Sugar Creek. What is Ridge at Sugar Creek? That is the Taylor Morrison two story townhomes. It's on that side of Harrisburg. When I say that side, you know what I mean? right? Because that side is where the estates are, but that side is where it says the estates are, but that side is where Ridge is. Trust me, two-story townhomes price point, I don't know. I could make a guess that they're going to be in the 500s, but that could be wrong. This is some premium dirt right now, people. So that's another thing. Now that's Taylor Morrison. Now, Regency at Palisades, down in the Palisades, Steel Creek area, uh, that has been a home run and we would love to help you with their brand new Regency at Sugar Creek. Dirt has moved. Dirt has moved. Red clay is all over these lots on the ground, all over that side and that side of Harrisburg Road. But again, you need to connect with a buyer agent first. So you need to call me if you're already working with one of my team members, call them if you're an active adult. Uh, and you are uh, interested in this area, this is a great area, man. You've got the benefits of South Carolina, and you're very close, again, over here to Ballantyne. Uh, a lot of reasons to love that. The corporate relocations, uh, Ballantyne Country Club, et cetera. Uh, you, you know, Publix, all this shopping up and down uh, on, the, on the North Carolina, South Carolina side, but the benefits. By the way, right here is Sports Connection. You know what that is? That's where Pickleball Charlotte is headquartered. Pickleball Charlotte. Oh, yeah, we know all about the pickleball stuff. In fact, the brand new Rally, which is the very first pickleball restaurant, is opening at the end of next month. It's going to have eight pickleball courts, four inside, four outside, and a restaurant. It's a destination in Loso, which stands for Lower South End. But right now, Pickleball Charlotte, right there. So close to this right here. Bam, bam, bam. Trust me on this. I'm excited about it. I really am excited about it. And then also up and down Harrisburg Road, this Regency at Palisades is going to be an active living. And notice it's not 55 plus age restricted. And that, that means that anybody can move in there. And if, if uh, history serves me correctly, even down there at Northreach, where Taylor Morrison was building out their pinnacle down there, one of our first... Uh, buyers in there was a young millennial couple amongst all these ranch homes. Same thing in Regency at Palisades. You don't have to be 55. So there was some brouhaha uprising about somebody moved in with a two-year-old. I thought it was 55 age restricted. Well, they marketed it and they're marketing this as active living. They're even calling it 55 plus, but it's not age restricted. So again, you need a good buyer agent to give you all the ins and outs and we would love to help you with that, but you got to involve us at the beginning of the process. That's where you want to call me first, hit subscribe, like, share, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's talk about this area just a little bit. I did point out about Ballantyne and Johnson Road. Man, how cool is that over there? But let me move over here out of the way and show you not only that the Sports Connection and Pickleball Charlotte is right there. Man, Harrisburg Road, Barberville Road. By the way, as of yesterday, I shot a video there's one last home down here 
at the Taylor Morrison, at the uh, retreat at Barber Rock. It's priced at seven fifteen. That's a great home. It's got a guest suite on the main floor. It's got woods on the on the side of it, no home, and woods in the back. If you're a seven hundred thousand dollar buyer, that could be perfect for you. You want to call me and let me show you. But for instance, the Ann Springs Close Greenway. Notice there are three uh, listings right here. There's Ann Springs Close Greenway with that barn and that dairy barn. There's also Ann Springs Close Greenway listing with the dairy barn itself. And then there's Ann Springs Close Greenway. By the way, Ann Springs Close just died within the last year or so. She was uh, uh, the matriarch from the Springs family and also married into the Close family. The Close family are still part of the owners there at the um, um, Pump House restaurant in Riverwalk. But she used to get out there in her 80s uh, and still walk around. This is an amazing jewel, Ann Springs Close Greenway. It's 23 acres of park and uh, events and a lake and a dog park. And it's it's and, and she bequeathed it out of the Springs, um, you know, land vault trust, really. It was the Springs land that Baxter Village was developed on from Springs Development. It was the Springs that, uh, right down here, that uh, Kingsley. Kingsley right here, Baxter Village right here. Uh, so that's right behind also Carolina Orchards. But that, uh, and Springs Close Greenway, 2,300 acres, that's Jewel. And that's very close to the Sugar Creek on Harrisburg Road, Indian Land Real Estate Hotspots. And you'll be right there at the Peach Stand. You can go there and shop, do it. Uh, the Walter Y. Elisha Park. Hey, the Strawberry Festival is this weekend. This weekend, first weekend in May, the Strawberry Festival and lots of other stuff at the Walter Elisha Park. That's so close over to here. So this is beautiful, guys. I would love for you to give me a call as, as we connect you to the Sugar Creek uh, uh, hotspots of Ridge at Sugar Creek, the two-story townhomes, new development at the estates at Sugar Creek, luxury single family homes from Taylor Morrison and Regency at Sugar Creek, the Toll Brothers active living ranch and ranch and a half. This is gonna be lovely homes, guys. Really high end luxury ranch homes. But don't reach out to Taylor Morrison. Don't reach out to Toll Brothers. Reach out to me. Get yourself a good buyer agent from my team and our price is built, our fee built into the price of the home, but you've got to involve us first. Subscribe, like, share, call me 704-345-3400 and I'll see you because enough said, right? I'll see you in the next video.